Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious bringing another video review, this time from NECA. It's Godzilla from the new movie Godzilla. It's that new design, which I actually like because the, the way the head sculpt is, it reminds me of Godzilla from the 90s. Um, I know that's not kind of the, the more classic Godzilla with the big eyes and stuff like that, but I always liked the Godzilla from the 90s. Um, I thought that was a nice upgrade to the character back then. Not the 98 movie. I'm, let's not go anywhere near Tuna Boy there. Okay. But yeah, this is really cool. And I'm looking forward to getting him out. Now he's got a nice little bio on here. I'll zoom in. And if you want to read it on your own time, feel free. Mr. Atomic Breath here. Alright, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this guy out of his package, because I'm a Godzilla fan, going back. I used to grow up, when I was growing up, in the late 70s, early 80s, man, Saturday afternoons, after cartoons, it'd be Godzilla movies on the broadcast TV. And that's how I would spend my days. I'd watch my cartoons in the morning, and I'd watch Godzilla in the afternoon. At least one, or, one a week. So, really love that thing. So, yeah. This is going to be probably a quick review because, you know, Godzilla can only do so much. So, I'm going to free him from his prison and we'll talk about him in a few minutes. Later. Okay. Here we have Godzilla out of his package and he looks really cool. Now, I know uh, a lot of reviews are showing him off. They're saying, oh, he's, he's black. He's not. He's, he's, he's black back here, but... Up in here, he's actually got like dark green tones painted in, and it, it blends in nicely as it as it goes to the black. Um, inside his mouth, if I can zoom in, he actually has a molded in tongue, nice painted white teeth, and look at the eyes. That is just cool. It's a great little head sculpt. The mouth does move a little bit, see? You can open it. And close it. Alright, look at that. That's pretty cool. And he's got some great detail on him um, with all the scales and everything that they molded in and the way his articulation works. It looks like you know some of these fins and stuff move with him, even though they don't really. And he's got a wire in his tail, which you can tell because there's holes back here. That's uh, for the wire. So you can straighten this out really far. And really make him long. Now he's he's only about you know six inches tall from his feet to his head, but from his tip of his nose to his tail, he's closer to 14 inches. So he's he's really a decent sized Godzilla figure. He really is. And now articulation wise, he actually has a lot more than I was expecting. You know his head has a little bit of a ball joint up here, but then he gets more movement out of his lower neck. So he's got two joints in his neck. So, you know, then he's got, you know, a ball, oh, a ball jointed joint right here. Come back to his tail. He's got a joint here. He's got a joint here. He's got a joint here and a joint here. And then you got the wire in the tail. So, you know, his tail can get a lot of movement out of it. You can almost bend it around him like this. See that? Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like having it straight back on him. And his hips go back and forth. They don't go out too much, but, you know, that's part of the character design. He does have some knees. You can move him forward some, move him back. They kind of get blocked by, you know, his body, but, you know, that's how it is. And he's got ball joints in his feet and his ankles. Now, up in his shoulders, he's got a nice ball joint. He's got a swivel and an elbow bend. And then he's got a swivel and a little bit of movement in the wrist. Mm -hmm. He's got nice painted claws on his hands. Really nice. I like that. So he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool little figure. I recommend if you can find this NECA version of, of Godzilla from the new movie. I recommend him. He's cool. He really is. Um... I, I would like to see NECA do other Godzillas from, like, you know, 
maybe do the one from the 90s, the one that fought Biolanti, or uh, maybe go back to the one from the 70s with the big eyes and stuff. That'd be cool to see, too. If they can do this same articulation on that, it'd be fantastic. So that's it for me and the big green king of monsters here, big green and black king of monsters. You all be good. You don't want him to open his mouth and, you know, do his thing, do you? What the heck is that thing? What? That's Godzilla. What's a Godzilla? That is Godzilla. Okay. Am I supposed to be impressed? You should be. Alright then. What does he do? You really don't want to know what he does. Yes, I do. Y you sure? You know, why do you do this to me? Just, come on, come on. Show me what you do, big guy. Show me what you do. Uh, you alright? I hate you.